Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to find the Gini index of a continuous valid attribute. Also, how to select the best split point for that continuous valid attribute. In this case, we have been given a data set with annual income as the continuous valid attribute. The label has two possibilities. The first one is no and second one is yes here. What we need to do is uh, we need to find the Gini index of this uh, annual income and then we need to select the best uh, split point over here. Now how to do this one is uh, the very first thing what we need to do is uh, we need to arrange this particular continuous valid attribute in the increasing order if it is not given earlier. In this case it is already given in the increasing order so there is no point in arranging in increasing order again here. Once you do that particular thing, uh, we need to select the split point. So how to do that particular thing is if you look at this one, that is uh, no and yes, there is a change from one label to other label that is from no to yes. The meaning of this one is between these two, there is a split point over here. So what is that particular uh, split point? 75 and 85 between these two. The meaning of this one is the average of uh, 75 and 85 that is equivalent to 80. So one uh, split point will be what less than 80 and another one will be greater than or equivalent to 80 over here. So this is the one uh, split point we will get. And if you scan this particular label column again, you can see here again there is a change from one label to other label that is yes to no here. The meaning of this one is there exists a split point between these two data points here that is between 95 and 100. The average of this one is 97.5. The meaning is the one split point will be the less than 97.5 and another one is greater than or equivalent to 97.5 here. So for this particular data set, we got two split points. But between these two, which one is the better one? Whether the first one is the best one or the second one is the best one that can be decided based on this particular Gini index over here. So now we try to find the Gini index of uh, the first one that is the split point 80 and then we will find it for 97.5. And then uh, based on the Gini index, we will decide which one is the best over here. So the first uh, split point is uh, 80 here. To find the Gini index uh, uh, for this particular split point, we need to find how many number of yes examples are there and how many number of no examples are there for less than 80 and greater than or equivalent to 80 over here. Now, if you look at this particular thing, less than 80, we have three examples that is 60, 70 and 75. All of them are no here. So that's the reason uh, all three are no here. But greater than 80, there are uh, seven examples are there out of that first three are yes, remaining four are no here. So that is what I have written here. Now we need to find the Gini index here. So if you find the Gini index, uh, the very first thing is uh, we need to find the Gini of less than 80 and then Gini of greater than or equivalent to 80 and then we need to combine them. So Gini of less than 80 is equal to 1 minus summation of i is equal to 1 to c. PI bracket square. PI is the probability of a seeth class. So how many classes are there? One is yes, another one is no. So probability of yes and probability of no over here. So one minus probability of uh, yes here. What is the probability of yes? Zero examples are there out of three. So zero by three bracket square plus probability of no three examples out of three, three by three bracket square. So that will be the, the thing I have written here. And uh, once you solve this particular thing, you will get zero as the Gini for less than 80. Similarly, we need to find Gini for greater than or equivalent to 80. Uh, in this case, if you look at here, uh, three yes examples are there and four no examples are there out of seven. So three by seven is the first one and four by seven is the second probability here. If you solve it, you will get 0.4897 in this case. Now coming back to the next one, that is a Gini of overall uh, split point that is 80, which is equivalent to W1 Gini of less than 80 plus W2 Gini of greater than or equivalent to 80 here. Now what is this particular W1? W1 is the uh, associated with less than 80. So how many less than 80 examples are there? If you count here, there are three examples are there. So three out of uh, total number of examples. So that is, uh, I think, uh, uh, 10 examples are there here. Similarly, W2. W2, how many examples are there? Uh, W2 is uh, greater than or equivalent to 80. So seven examples are there out of 10. So seven by 10 over here. If you solve it, you will get 0.3427 in this case. Because we know this value, that value I have put it directly over here. And this is also known to us because we have already calculated in this case. Similarly, we have to find the Gini for this also. That is, if you want to find the Gini for 97.5 split, first we need to find the Gini for uh, less than 97.5. That is equal to again, how many number of, uh, uh, you can say that yes, examples are there and no examples are there. 
97.5 less than 97.5 means up to here 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 no 3 s examples are there so 3 by 6 bracket square 3 by 6 bracket square over here and uh, similarly greater than equal to 97.5 how many examples are there four are there all four of them are no examples in this case so 1 minus uh, 0 by 4 bracket square because 0 s examples are there 4 no examples are there 4 by 4 bracket square which is equal to 0 0.0 here the genie of uh, 97.5 is equal to w1 genie less than equal to just the, less than 97.5 w2 genie greater than or equal to 97.5 here again w1 is uh, the uh, weight of uh, 97.5 that's less than 97.5 how many are there totally 6 are there so 6 out of 10 in this case and how many greater than equal to 97.5 are there 4 4 out of 10 in this case so the answer is 0 0.30 over here so the genie for the second one we got is 0 0.3 and the genie for the first one we got is 0 0.3427 in this case now we need to decide between these two uh, split points whether 80 is the better option or 97.5 is the better option if you look at the genie values of these two split point 0 0.3 is less so you can say that 97.5 is the best splitting point for this particular continuous valid attribute in this case so in this video i have discussed uh, how can we find the split points how to find the gini index of those particular split point and how to select a best split point for a continuous valid attribute i hope uh, the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching